Welcome to The Naomi Show. Hello there and welcome to the show. Now we hear the term emotionally unavailable a lot these days to describe certain men who don't seem to be able to commit to a relationship. And I spoke to psychologist Steve Ash about how you can identify a man who's emotionally unavailable and if he is, whether it's worth hanging around. Steve, what does emotionally unavailable mean? Well, it's interesting. Is it a category that a woman has said about a man or has a man actually described himself as mm. that or been so obvious that you can't help but describe him as that? I guess what it all boils down to is it's likely that it's a guy who doesn't actually want to be in a relationship and possibly even doesn't want to be with you at all. It can be quite frustrating though, can't it? Because emotionally unavailable men still date and appear to want to be in relationships. We're getting all these mixed messages. Are there any ways to identify if a man is emotionally unavailable? Very much so. And I think early in the piece, talking about, you know, in your ideal world, what's the right balance between a relationship and work and what's worked for you in the past, where you're talking about it outside of you and that person so that there's you're getting their opinion on what they would like in their life how how does this manifest itself though is it that the man is not terribly communicative or he's always working or always busy just slots the the woman in occasionally is that what we're seeing with someone who's considered I mean it seems like such a term this emotionally I know. unavailable I, think I find it, means, it rather hard I think it means not returning phone calls right um, not sending nice little warm texts and not doing something on the weekend when you'd most expect that this man that you've met and you're going out with you would want to be doing something with and I think really there are some very clear signs of what that means but yet you might get the phone call to go out on a particular night and they might be very sexually attracted to you mm. and you might have the most fantastic time but there are a lot of reasons why men may not be emotionally unavailable and I think it's important to look at what they might be because it may be that he's going through a really hard time at work. He may have lost his job. He may be being bullied. There may be financial issues. He may have leftover baggage from a previous relationship that he's not quite out of, that he's got to work on. Or it could be that there is something in the woman's behaviour that triggers mm -hmm. this man to behave emotionally unavailable towards that woman. Because in a sort of situation like this, women may say to themselves, well, I really like him. There's a lot I like about him. Should I just hang around and maybe one day he's going to become emotionally available because it'll just be that time when I give up and someone else swoops in and then suddenly he's offered another relationship and it could have been me. You do hear women talking like a that, Absolutely. Don't you? Look, a friend of mine went out with a guy who she's really quite liked and he's liked her and they just didn't connect and she'd said to me, I think he's emotionally unavailable, but she did go out with him again just the other day and she said, he's absolutely emotionally unavailable, lovely guy, gorgeous guy, very attractive. But what had happened this time was his inability to connect further than that and his total focus on work has now made her less attracted to him because she realises, why do you want to be involved or attracted to a guy mm. who is not giving back the equivalent. It and so that's fine, but you've got to find that point in yourself to recognise that. Otherwise, you're just going to constantly be upset and frustrated. So it really comes down to being true to yourself and what you want and need out of a relationship, Absolutely. doesn't it? And looking at what you can control, which is you, not trying to make that other person something that they're not. Okay, that makes sense. Thank you, Eve. Thank you. And we look forward to your company next time. Your love life, let's talk about it at naomishow.com.